Shalom sister, how are you doing? You want to know about the, the truth image. Oh, you want to know about the truth image of Christ? Yes, exactly. Put a pause on this. What's your name, sister? Shana. Pleased to meet you. I'm Officer David. Right? And we are out here to teach our people. Don't be shy, don't be shy. It's love we have for our people. That's why we are out here to teach our people. As we are commanded in the scripture. Be before we go to the image, let me feel it. Read it. Nehemiah, just jump to it. Read verse 8. Nehemiah chapter Let's 8, this. verse 8. Mm -hmm. So they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly. So we read distinctly, go on. And gave the sense. So we have to read clearly and give the sense of what is in the Bible. So we are going to give you the sense according to the scripture, pertaining to the image of Christ. So let me ask you a question. When you look at these images here, which image that you have grown up with showing you that is Christ? That was given to you stating that this is Christ. Which one of them? Come, come on, you know, you come and stand on here. You're kind of far, not, you know? Don't be shy. Who? Which one? The white man image. The white man image. So, when you read, have you read the Bible before? Okay. When you read the scriptures, you cannot find these things in the scriptures. As being Christ. You understand me? But through the ages, the, the, the quote-unquote system on the slave master has given us these images in order to keep us suppressed and oppressed. You understand me? Because if we know Christ look like one, like, like me and you, we'll have a little more respect for one another. But, so the slave master, which is our enemies, our oppressors, they don't want us to realize that we actually look like Christ and Christ look like us. So let's go into the scriptures and show you according to the scriptures. Read Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. And the word revelation means to reveal. So here the angel came and revealed to John on the Isle of Patmos. Showing John. So John came forward and showed his people. He writes it in the book that we would have understand that Christ looked just as me and you. Read Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Unto his servant John. So he went and showed John. John chapter 10. Verse 10. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Just as today. He said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So he was in the Bible on the Lord's day. The spirit is the word of God. So John is saying he was in the spirit on the Lord's day, which is the Sabbath day. Just like we are here today in the spirit explaining to you the true image of Christ. Read. And heard behind me, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So he heard a loud voice as a trumpet behind him speaking to him. Go ahead. Say. I am Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And what thou seest, write in a book. So the angel command John, what thou seest, write in a book. So he wrote it in the book that we could have as records that we can show our children, we can teach our grandchildren, our friends, the proper things that we're supposed to know about Christ. Let's jump on to 14. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Hold on. So let's do a process of elimination. According to the scripture, read that again. Verse 40. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. In these images here, which of those images have that, that is matching up with what we read in the scriptures here? That has a white hair. Is this image have white hair? Any of these? No. This image have white hair. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Which referring to he had his hair and his beard, they were white like wool. White is the color and wool is the texture. Which people on the audio know have wool here? We don't know a person here. Black people. You're sure right. We are the people. Don't be ashamed of saying that. We are the ones that have wool here. Right? Continue. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh -huh. As white as snow. As white as snow, the color. What? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He didn't have green eyes or hazel eyes or blue eyes. His eyes was red. 
Get that, get that um, for please in Matthew. Biblically. In Genesis, get in Genesis 14. Or the night, sorry. Book of so Genesis. His, his eyes were red. Sis, no, follow. No read. His, Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes shall be red with wine because Christ drank a lot of wine. When our people drink alcohol, from your experience, don't you know that the eye dilates and turns red? Because they drank alcohol. So Christ actually drank, drank alcohol, but he was not a drunkard, right? Read verse 15, Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet like unto fine brass. What is the color of brass? Wrong, that's right. So, right. So, when you look at Christ's feet, if I look at your hands and your feet, I would have a basic understanding of your body color. Isn't that true? Exactly. So, read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So, and his feet was like unto fine brass, which is brown. Go on. And if they burn in a furnace. So, if you take anything and burn it in a furnace, what color it turns out to be? Black. That's right. So, what is that telling you? This is basically a description of Christ's color. In that you know that Christ is a black man. So this image here, that we call the image of the beast, which was painted by um, Leonardo da Vinci, is a false image of Christ. That's what the Bible tells you. There are false images. When you read the book of John, it tells you there will be false teachers. When you read in Matthew, false prophets. That is the false prophet. These people came to tie up our minds and brainwash us. Because when you see the white man, to the end of the white man, how do you feel? So they teach us everything that they want to do. You don't know, that's Christ. You don't know? Okay. But from today, when you leave here, you're supposed to see Christ as a black man. Even when you're praying, you're supposed to have that vision of Christ as a black man in your head. You understand, sister? Just as you, just as your brother, your mother, your neighbor. You understand me? Because we've been taught totally wrong. So now you get the understanding that Christ is a black man according to the scripture. So when you go home, will you read that scripture and, and further get understanding of it? Okay, so can I ask you another question? Do you, do, do you love God? Right, so, so. Yeah. You love him? Okay, so let's find out. According to the scripture, right? You know what is love according to the scripture? The 12th. You would like to think so? All right, let's see. Get what is love. Read. The book of John, 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God. He said, for this is the love of God. Because the Bible actually stipulating what is the love of God. Read. For this is the love of God. Uh -huh. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. In order to love God, we must keep his commandments. Very for Sean and say, he that loved me, he that said I love him. He's a liar. Read. Because in order to love God, there are things that we're supposed to put forth. If somebody come and tell you that they love you and they're bashing you and beating you, is that person really loving you? Exactly. So here the most I have stipulations. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Read that. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. But if we keep his commandments. So in order to know the Messiah, we have to put forth the action. We have to actually keep his commandments. And that will bring forth, that will show that you really love the Messiah. You understand me? So I want to show you something here in the scriptures. Right? And I want you to kind of give us some understanding on, on what you hear from the scripture and what you take from the scripture. Deuteronomy chapter, because if you say you love him, the sun is burning you. Just give me one minute. Let me bring out one scripture. One more scripture, please. One Deuteronomy, more scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 5. The uh -huh. so, woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So he said, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does women wear that pertains to men? What, what particular clothes? Uh, say it, man. Just say it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, okay, let's hear. Read Neither. again, read again, read again, start over, read again. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear uh -huh. that which pertaineth unto a man. Unto a man? Neither shall a man put on a woman's, a woman's garment. garment. So if one day walking on the road and you see me coming down the road with a short skirt and a wig on my head, how would you feel? You would have mixed feelings about it. You wonder what's wrong with me. We are far from. So just imagine, we as men, seeing the women walking about in leggings, pants, and tights, and all this thing. How are we feeling? Lustful. Yes, it brings down a lustful feeling. But men that understand the scripture, and understand what the scripture says, will put aside that lustful feeling, and they will think about, the woman is not doing what the scripture says. That's and right. he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. End it. Read it again. 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the, what women not supposed to wear is pants. Because pants was only given to men. You understand? So let me ask you. Your pants have a zipper in it. Why does it have a zipper? The access to get into it. But the true purpose of the zipper is that you can zip it down and a man can have easy access to urinate. But a sister has to zip it down and still pull it down and sit down to pee. You see what I mean? So all these things have been given to us in the 1800s and the 1900s by the quote-unquote oppressors. But according to God's word, we're not supposed to partake in those things. We come on following society and following everything that's laid down in front of us. But yet we say that we love God. Sorry? No. You don't necessarily need to until the skirt. You could raise up your skirt and sit down and, and urinate. And cover everything. Exactly. Because listen, let, let me ask you a question. What's the true reason that women wear pants outside here? It's comfortable. I believe it's that because the women want to show up their figure. They want people to see that they have a, a nice ass, all the shape and all those things. Listen, I'm not bashing anybody. I'm just saying, let, let's think logically. Because according to the scripture, the scripture is saying that women are not supposed to wear pants. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.